Hello, welcome back. So, if you watched my last video, you will see in uh, Donald Quarry. And now I'm just driving home, except I'm looking for photo spots on the way home. And the first one is this, which is called Ogwen Falls, and it has Trip and the mountain in the background. Um, and it's really pretty, although the sky is perfectly blue, like not a cloud in it. Um, it's amazing to look at. I'm not sure what kind of photo I'm going to get out of this, but I'll have a play around. So the first attempt I'm going to do is a long exposure um, off the falls and just see if we can smooth out some water. And then my plan is to take it black and white um, and just see what it looks like. Unfortunately, the long exposure keeps failing because there's a bridge here and cars keep going across it. So they get caught in and I get a, a really crappy colour paint trail. Um, so I just put on some, well, an ND8 and a graduated filter and you know, the photo is fine, but it's, it's nothing special. It's nothing that, to be honest, I couldn't really do on my phone because it's just bright colours. Um, so I'm kind of struggling for a composition here. Uh, I'm going to go a bit further down and see what's at the bottom of the waterfall um, and I don't know if there's anything more interesting without cars that maybe I can get a long exposure from but the problem is with long exposures I'm using my variable ND filter and it's really hard to tell what it's set to. Um, it's hard to explain but because of the shutter speeds I need to use I can't I just can't gauge what it is and when you think it's set to its darkest setting there's two like semicircle marks that come in the middle of the disc where the two discs kind of I don't know mix in somehow um, and I keep catching them on my photo so I'm really struggling with it and the moral of this story is I need a better ND filter or a, a big stopper um, so maybe that'll be the next thing I buy um, but we'll go further down and we'll see see what it looks like down there Okay, so I've moved away from the falls just so you can hear me to shelter behind this wall because of the wind as well. Um, I've got a few shots. I'll put them up right now so you can see them. Okay, hopefully these turned out okay and they were nice shots. It was pretty tricky getting down here. Um, it's a beautiful place, but I think I definitely want to come again when it's a bit more cloudy and a bit more overcast just to get some more interest in the sky and the water and everything. But really enjoyed coming down here though. Um, it's the first time here and seeing it in lots of photographs. Um, it made me want to come and see it here. So whilst I'm talking about photographs, I'm going to give a shout out to a Facebook group called Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. And that is a group that I'm a member of, which is full of other vloggers um, specifying in landscape photography. And they're an amazing bunch, really, really supportive. All of the information that I needed today, I got from them just with a quick post on Facebook. Um, but it's a great place to post your work um, if you do make vlogs. And even if you don't make vlogs, it's a great place to go and see how really good landscape photographers, not me, but there are some really good ones in there, how they go about taking their photos, you know, how they look for composition, what gear you use, what settings you use. You can learn so, so much from it. So I really can't recommend that group highly enough. I think without it, I'm not even sure I would have carried on doing this landscape photography. I would have just given up at the start. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I met somebody called Ben through it as well. So we've been out a couple of times um, and I'm hoping to collaborate with other people on there as well uh, in the future. But 
it's a really great group no trolling no idiots just nice people so highly recommend it so that's landscape photography on youtube uk and i will link it down below as well I left Dogwin Falls and I was on my way home but I remember this dam that I really like um, called Clinalwyn Reservoir Dam and it's really nice but unfortunately the lighting's not very good and also the overflows aren't on because it hasn't been raining um, so there's no water gushing down the other side of it which is a bit of a shame because it's really really dramatic and I thought if the light was catching it right it'd make a great photo but it turns out that there's no light and um, the sun is the wrong side of the dam even when it does come up from behind the cloud um, so there's not really a great deal I can do here except just try and show you a bit of the scenery really and um, this is gonna be the last bit of the vlog so um, I've been out for I don't know maybe 10 hours today so far um, and I really need to start heading back towards Manchester because um, I'm still in North Wales so and I'm pretty tired my face as I'm sure you can see this is not a colour grading issue my face is actually that red um, I'm really sunburned I didn't wear any sun cream again because I'm an idiot so I'll just uh, give you a few shots of this place um, and then I'll head off home so so thank you very much for watching again. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and you know share the video if it's a place that you think that your friends would like to go. And um, give it a like, thumbs up, any comments, anything really is gratefully accepted. Especially any constructive criticism. Um, like I said before, I'm still learning. I'm very much a, a beginner with photography, um, so any constructive feedback is always, always welcome. Um, so thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you.